Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be a tutorial on how to use the Microsoft Authenticator app. We're going to cover how to use the Authenticator app to enable two-factor authentication and significantly strengthen your security across your important online accounts. So what this does is that it makes signing into your account far more secure for two main reasons. The two-factor authentication, it generates time-sensitive codes needed to complete the login process along with your password. And this will add an additional layer of security beyond just a password alone. You can also have the automatic strong password generation as the app can generate highly complex random passwords for new accounts in just one click, completely eliminating the whole easy to guess passwords thing. So used together, these two features make your online account a lot more secure from unauthorized access by bad actors. Some other capabilities for the app include securely storing passwords, payment cards, addresses, and identity documents. So let's get into the setup. So the first step is getting the application downloaded on your device. It only takes a couple of minutes and here are these steps. You want to go to the App Store or the Play Store and then type in the Microsoft Authenticator app. Once it's downloaded, you want to launch it and allow notifications. Notifications are needed to receive timely login approval prompts. Accept the Microsoft privacy policy to proceed and the app collects minimal usage data for improvement. Onto the main screen, you will have three choices. To sign in with your Microsoft account, you can click skip to just use the authenticator for other accounts or click scan QR code to add individual sites right away. Signing in with your Microsoft account links it automatically and enables seamlessly securing it with two-factor authentication going forward. But securing your Microsoft account specifically requires additional setup. So to enable the enhanced two-factor protection on your Microsoft account itself, you will need to visit your Microsoft account security settings page online. And then under the additional security options, click setup to setup verification. It will prompt you to approve from the Microsoft Authenticator app. So tab approve to confirm the sign in. Definitely save the provided one time backup code in a safe place like a password manager. This critical backup code lets you restore your account access if you ever lose your mobile device. Following these straightforward and simple steps ensures that your Microsoft account itself is protected by two-factor authentication powered by the Microsoft Authenticator app. So now even if your password gets compromised, an attacker cannot exactly access your account without also having your mobile device with the Authenticator app installed. And as you can imagine, this massively enhances your Microsoft account security. After that, of course, you likely want to enable enhanced two-factor authentication across your other important online accounts beyond just Microsoft. And the good news here is that it's really easy to do that. All you have to do is go to the website's account security settings and enable two-step verification or two-factor authentication. After you click on that, you need to select the Microsoft Authenticator as the verification app. Most websites will provide you with a QR code that appears on your screen. So in the Authenticator app, tap the plus icon and select scan QR code. And then with your phone's camera, you want to scan the QR code shown on your computer screen and then your account will be added to the application. And then you just need to repeat this process to add and protect any other account supporting two-factor authentication with Authenticator apps. This works on really anything, Google, Facebook, Amazon, banking institutions, and so on. The more accounts you add, the more secure your online presence becomes across the board. And then if you want to test the app, then you just go to a website that you've already added, and then you enter your normal username and password as the first authentication factor. After that, you want to open that account in the Microsoft Authenticator app to reveal a six digit one time passcode. Copy the displayed Authenticator code and paste it in prompt after your password. And then you will just be signed into your account successfully. And as explained previously, this extra step makes it exponentially harder for attackers to access your account, even if they manage to obtain your password through phishing, hacking, or breaches. And that will be all for today's video. I hope that today's walkthrough has helped explain how to properly download, install, and set up Microsoft's Authenticator app to significantly enhance security on all of your most important online accounts. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it to be informative or helpful to watch, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content that we make.